Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to my channel. Y'all are gonna be so happy because today is the day that I finally sat down and I recorded the hijab tutorial. And I mean the hijab tutorial. The one you guys are always asking me about in every reel, every story, in the DMs, in the comments, all the time. It is my go-to everyday hijab style. It gives you full neck coverage if that's something you're looking for. I'm gonna give y'all a slow breakdown, step by step, so you can do it with me and see how it is that I achieve this look every single day. Now, before we get started, I will note I am using Modal for this tutorial. My favorite hijab fabric to use for this tutorial is Modal. My second favorite fabric after that is probably Jersey. I used to do it a lot with chiffon, although I've kind of moved away from chiffon. I'm definitely a Modal girl now. They got to me. To my chiffon hijab sitting in a pile in my wardrobe. I am sorry, I had to be this way. So if you're doing it with modal or with jersey, I would recommend using magnet pins. For this style, you're gonna need three magnet pins. And if you're doing it instead with a fabric like chiffon, you can use safety pins, there's no issue. Do not ever use safety pins on your modal. I'm speaking from experience. But anyways, bismillah, let's get started. Please don't do this style injustice by wearing it with a wrinkly hijab. Iron your hijabs, steam your hijabs. I am gonna remind you to hit that subscribe button and that like button if you're feeling extra generous. So I have my handy dandy mirror here so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Obviously, I'm just putting this undercap over my ninja undercap for the purposes of this video so I can give you guys a tutorial while keeping my neck covered. Do yourself a favor and invest in a couple of matching undercap and hijab sets. Even though it may seem like it doesn't make a big difference, I promise you, it does. My favorite fabric to use for this style is a modal hijab. And since it is a more delicate material, I'm using magnet pins. If I was using chiffon or some other material, I would use safety pins. So as I do the style, I'll tell you where to put those pins if you're using safety pins instead of magnet pins. As long as you're not using modal, if it's any other fabric, that's fine. You're gonna start with a short side and a much longer side, all right? You're going to line this up. I like bringing it down, grabbing it from these two pieces here and just slowly working it back like that. The reason why I don't grab it up here and pull it back is because then this happens and maybe that works for your face shape, but it does not work for mine. So again, I start with it a little low so I can pull it back exactly where I need it to be. And I just slowly pull it back until it's framing my face, almost in line with where the under cap is. So I'm gonna show you guys two different ways you can cover your neck hair. When I first started doing this style, I covered my neck in a different way. It gave me less coverage than the way I cover my neck now. Um, I'll show you both because I know people are in different stages of covering their neck. So the first one was way simpler. You would just take this piece, wrap it around your neck here, and pin back here with magnet pins. Safety pin if you're using something other than modal, like chiffon, for example. Now you've created some neck coverage. The reason why I don't do this anymore is because it does show part of your neck here. And I'm just in a part of my hijab journey, alhamdulillah, where I wanted more neck coverage. So the second option, which is what I do now, every single day it's my go-to hijab style. You're gonna extend this piece and you're gonna look for the edge of the underside, which is right here. Taking the fabric down here, pulling it up to under my ear and placing the fabric on the inside of my under cap like that. I'm gonna take my magnet pin, I'm gonna place one piece on the inside and then the other piece on the outside, like so. And it should be hanging like that, right underneath my ear is right here for reference, so it's right underneath my ear. Now, if you're using safety pins, I would recommend getting the baby, baby safety pins, the really, really small ones. They're maybe like this big, and you would do the same thing and you would just pin it on the inside. So when you flip the undercap back around, it should be hidden underneath the undercap. Now, you're going to take this piece and this is where the neck gets covered. You're gonna drag it across your neck as tight or as loose as you're comfortable with and you're going to pin it under your ear on the other side. Then you're gonna take the edge of this here that is coming out from under your ear Take the other edge on the other side that we did, and then you're gonna pull all this fabric together so it's tight against your neck. And I'm gonna pin like in the middle of the fabric here. That's how I get this flowy style looking really seamless and kind of removing the amount of excess fabric that gets in the way. I'm gonna lift this piece, 
take this under piece and throw it behind you. I like to go through and make sure that this under piece right here is as far back to the back of my neck as possible so that it's coming from the back of my neck straight down my back. I'll turn around and show you guys what I mean in a second. Now, this hijab style can be worn one of two ways. You can either just have it over your shoulder like this and you have this piece hanging here. Now you have a nice flowy hijab style um, with neck coverage. This is the first way you can wear it. And the second way is you just take this piece throw it behind you. What I love about this style is you can wear it in so many different ways. You can wear it where it's like asymmetrical, so coming down off your shoulder, down really low, or you can pile it up onto your shoulder and drape it really low so it gives you chest coverage, um, or you can pull it up as high as you want. It's really up to you. My favorite way is to kind of wear it somewhere in the middle. Another great thing about this style is that you can tie a necklace around your neck underneath and it will sit on top of your hijab really nicely. So this is what the back looks like. It kind of just will drape down really elegantly. And then a lot of you are always asking me how I wear earrings with my hijab. What you're going to get is a pair of hoop earrings that are open in between where you put it in your ear and the back part. Oh, thank you so much, my love. Thank you so much. So the way I like to do it is I take this piece, kind of like fold it back like that and then I tuck it in and that gives it some more structure so it can be like loose away from my face. And then I'm just sure to lift a little bit on the edges, especially with modal, it can have some friction and really like stick to your undercap. So I just lift it on the edges to give it some more volume. And then that's it. One of the reasons why I really like doing this style with modal, since modal does have that friction to it, I don't have to pin the sides. Like this is not gonna go anywhere. Especially when I wear it with the earrings, it kind of like holds everything in place. When I tell you I have worn this style on a roller coaster and it has not budged. I've worn it in the car with the windows down. It really just stays in place, especially when I wear the earrings. And if I don't wear the earrings, it still stays in place on top here because there is a lot of friction here. You don't wanna use straight pins on your model because it can kind of damage them. But that's it, that's how I do it. Make sure you hit that subscribe and like button and let me know in the comments what you guys think of the style and if you wanna see any more hijab tutorials from me. I told myself I wasn't gonna do the Disney intro today, but doot, 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 doot.